Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a declutter video and this is just a sit and talk video. I have done a whole series a few years ago, I think it was now, of my entire collection that I decluttered. I will have that link down below if you want to see it. I just felt like decluttering some products and I decluttered here and there so I didn't really do it in one take. So I didn't film it. But I hope it's okay with you guys. I want to talk a little bit about them and what I want to do with them and so on. Right away, I can already tell you, they are going to friends and family. And then I will take it from there. If they are old or whatever. If they're old, I'm not going to give them to them. I have some eyeshadow palettes and I'm going to depart the shades that I want for myself. And count them as a single shadow in my collection from here. But I haven't deep them yet. I'm pretty sure I will in the future. But I just wanted to film this because it has been sitting, staring at me, this bag, for so long. And now I just have to do it because I have some time to film. I just need to do it. <laughs> I just need to do it. The bag that I'm talking about is my Davison <laughs> makeup toiletry uh, bag. Um, and yes, there are eyeshadow palettes and mostly those and lipsticks. I'm not really good at decluttering other things, but let's just go through them. There's a lot in this bag. I have 10 eyeshadow palettes in total. Two of them are not W7 and the rest are. So let's just talk about the two that I have. My only two, the Balm palettes, I'm going to declutter. And I only think I'm going to depart some from one of them. The first one is the Nude Tooth palette. And this is going to be decluttered as a whole. I pretty sure I'm pretty sure that I can find a good home for this palette. It's not bad, but it's just not the best that I have in my collection. And I have thought about panning it, but then I was like, nah, I don't want to. So this is going to go uh, to a good home that I know can get more use out of it than me. Then we have the Bomb Bomb Jovi palette. And the Rockstar palette and I have some damage on this so I don't think I will give this to anyone. I have pan on Metallica, I've used up the highlighter, I have departed the two blushes, lipsticks, whatever in it and one of them I am um, almost done with. I have used up one. I'm almost done with the second. Um, I'm going to keep the blush because that is my favorite uh, the bomb blush ever. It is Fred Boy. I have a full size, but I just love that much, that blush too much to get rid of it already. Oh, yet. One shade that I know I want to depart from this is Metallica because that is a beautiful inner corner shade. I have Snowflake from Essence in my inner corner today, but this is just a little, a little bit more silver and it's absolutely stunning. So I'm going to depart that one, I know. And the rest are... Mm, yeah, they are most likely going to go into the bin. They're really nice shades, but they're just dark and weird, actually. So Then we go into the W7 palettes, and the first one I want to talk about is the W7 Metal Pop palette. I was really close at choosing this from a Panda palette this year, until the theme changed. <laughs> the theme in the Panda ladies, if you didn't know. But yes, this is the Metal Pop. It is an all shimmer metallic shades. Metallic shades. Not really intense, but I do think I want to keep a few. I don't know which one yet, but oh well, maybe I won't. The tin packaging from W7 is not good. Let's just take it like that. But this palette is decent, I will say that. Another tin packaging is my W7 in the buff neutral natural nudes palette. This is the dupe for the naked two, I think. I think. I don't really care for it at all. Um, it's a nice neutral palette, but it's just not good. But yes, I have some dips and so stuff like that in it. So I will see if anybody wants it. It's a decent palette, but not really for me anymore. I am gravitating towards something else. Plus, it's, it's getting a little bit too old. So maybe my cousin that doesn't wear makeup or that much makeup yet. Maybe she will enjoy it. Then we have the W7 Night on the Tour palette. I hate this packaging. I can't... I, I can never open it. Never ever. <laughs> I hate it so much. Well, it is a beautiful palette. This is like an embroidery 
um, it's not plastic or anything. This one is, but in the front is like material, uh, like fabric. This is a beautiful cool tone palette. I'm not the biggest fan of cool tones, but this one is pretty, pretty nice. I don't have any dips or anything in this one, so maybe this is more likely to go to my cousin or something. Yeah, I don't know. It is really, really nice, and it is one of the better ones, but they don't make it. Um, so I don't really know why we got it when I was an ambassador, but it is a really good palette. It is. Then we have my cardboard packaging. If you saw my W7 palette collection video, I said I wanted to collect... <laughs> yeah, in the past. Uh, I want to collect the cardboard packaging because uh, I don't know why. I just like the thought about me having them all, but I don't really want to. Now, <laughs> I don't really care that much anymore. But yes, I'm going to declutter these two palettes, spaced out palette. I don't like this. This is so bad. I don't want to give it to anybody. <laughs> it is so bad. All the colors look the same in this middle one. Uh, maybe this can be something different. And these two whites and pale, pale whites, something, they look the same. The only really matte shadow is this one. And this is just a really, really boring and awful shade and the black has glitter in it it's just bad not pigmented and not creamy and crumbly and look the same it's just really bad <laughs> so that is going bye bye i love the theme though space but the palette and shadows oh my god that is horrible it's kind of the same thing with this one this is the w7 lives a beach palette I love the themes that they did at some point that was not copycat palettes but this is just a really really beautiful palette um, in the color scheme wise um, the only shadows that I'm going to depart is the two yellows because I love them I hate the others <laughs> that's that the only reason that I don't want any of the bronzes is just because I have so many neutrals and so many bronze golden shades that look like this so that is not going and I hate the seafoam turquoise shades they are so bad and not pigmented and crumbly I hate them so I'm going to depart the two yellows and maybe only maybe am I going to keep this seashell whitish shade only maybe so far I'm only going to depart three eyeshadow pants for sure and then a blush and then maybe a fourth eyeshadow the white one i don't know yet but so far only from these two palettes have you thought about keeping the packaging the front at least because they're pretty what what do you do with them if you want to keep them <laughs> because that is my hardest part because they're pretty it's stupid but i really like to look at them they're pretty this is yeah this is a palette but i don't like lipstick palettes this is the w7 lip explosion palette it, they are really nice these lipsticks but I don't reach for a lipstick palette I have one that I'm kind of panning at the moment from Chanel XO and that is totally fine because they are shadows that or oh, lipsticks that I can work with but these are metallics and kind of matte shadows <laughs> lipsticks not shadows lipsticks they're nice but I have like 100 lipsticks in total and these 12 uh, should make a very nice cut in that collection if I declutter those. Not that that matters, but I just don't reach for a lip palette. Yeah, I just don't. I have a hard time just panning one right now, and I'm not really panning the whole palette. These two, the eye cushions from Debbie Simon, the Starlight and Dreamer. I did a whole review on the Starlight one. I really like it actually. It's They're kind of cream shadows, but not really. I thought they were like the Colourpop Super Shack shadows, but these are way more creamy. And they actually crease on me if I don't set them. But yeah, they're really easy to make dips in, so don't be fooled. I haven't used them so much that they have dent and almost pan. They're really easy to move around, just like a Super Shack shadow. I don't want to use them, that is the issue. I don't want to use them, I don't reach for them. And my queen shadows are going bad at the moment, so I'm just using what I have that I know is almost going uh, drying out. Um, so yeah. 
Starlight is more neutral, and then Dreamer have a Ratchet and Neutrals. Um, I have used them all, but yeah, not enough. I don't care about cream shadows anymore as I used to. I'm, I have outgrown them. Outgrown them. Yeah, that's the word. Mm. Let's take the ones that are not mm. lipsticks. I was going to say single cream shadows. The eyeshadow sticks. These are the hologram 3D eyeshadow sticks. If you saw my whole collection project uh, last year and this year, you know that I have tried to pan this. It's a nice topper kind of shade um, but sometimes they they do lift up the shadow underneath so that's the issue itself and if I only use this and not a primer underneath they crease because my eyelids are oily they are beautiful as an inner corner highlight but you know that that point there is so little <laughs> and I have four sticks and a whole stick is like this much and that is just too much yeah so i have a pink one orange green and a blue you can kind of see the pink that has broken from the base kind of i have used this for let's say six months straight uh, only the top part is gone i don't have that many years to use these up and i don't have the time to do an extra step in the morning so these are just going lip products should we count the lip glosses they're different categories actually i just realized i have one regular lip gloss that i'm going to declutter because i'm not a lip gloss person i will never be and if i do want a lip gloss it is going to be the next butter glosses because they are the nicest formula that i have tried that i actually like for gloss this one is though the gosh volume lip shine one um i don't think i have used it that much so i can give this to a close friend or family that actually like glosses two categories that i now can remove from my makeup inventory and the first one is lip toppers lip gloss toppers and i have the w7 loud pout uh, lip gloss toppers in a pink i think yeah a blue Green, a peach, blue, and like a purpley pink shade. Um, I don't like lip glosses, and these are horrible formula. They're really nice on their own, but uh, they're toppers, and the applicator doesn't go really well. Um, there's not a lot of product on the tip there, so. Yeah, I don't care. They are mostly glittery, so... Bye-bye. The next category that I can uh, remove from my makeup inventory right now is lipstick toppers. Yeah, I know. I didn't buy these. Just to FYI. I got them when I was an ambassador and... Uh, yeah. The first one in my lip gloss... Uh, lipstick toppers are my Kiss and Trip Holographic Lipsticks. This is the blue one, called Blue Flash. And this is called White Hot, that I had in my This Is Me project pen. And I have used it quite a bit, and I actually did like a combination that I did with this and some other lipstick that I'm planning, that I'm not, not using because of this, but because I don't have it in the project anymore. But I just decided to declutter it because it, it is an extra step. I don't like that. So, they are going. And then we have these six lipsticks toppers here. They are the Kiss and Spell Pearly Pout Potion lipsticks. And yes, these are toppers as well. And I haven't used them really. I have swatched them a few times uh, in a swatch video, I think. Nothing is wrong with them. I just don't like the extra step and I'm not that extra to go there. So I have the purple one, which is called Entranced. Gold one that is called Mesmerized. Love the theme of these. Then we have Begilded, which is a pink. A blue one that is called Bedazzled. And then we have a gray white one, which is called 
enticed, bewitched, which, which is a uh, green. The last ones that I want to share with you are my liquid lipsticks from Debbie Simon as well. This is a whole line that I'm getting rid of. These are the Derby 7 Glitter Pop Glitter Liquid Lip Color. These are the ones. They are like the Ciate Glitter Flips. Lip Flips. I don't, I don't know. If you pull your lips together, they turn glittery. And uh, I never wear those. I really, really like these two colors. But... If you rub your lips together, they turn glittery, and I don't like that. I have so many liquid lipsticks in these colors that I like so much more. I really like this red one. This is really pretty because it has a metallic uh, pink shine. Only two that I don't have any ordinary, normal lip colors in is these two purple ones and a dark wine color. I really like this color. It's so sad that it's glittery. Um, and this purple color is so beautiful and so amazing for winter and Halloween and stuff like that. Um, but I'm just not, not, I'm not using them and I'm not going to use them and yeah, I don't want to use like once or twice a year. That's just not worth it. And I don't want them in my collection and look at them every time I'm going to do my inventory. That is the case with all of these items. I don't want to look at them anymore and I don't want to like feel bad for not using them. That is everything for this declutter. I do know sometimes you want to see me declutter when I'm at it in my collection, but here we are. Let's just do it like this. This time maybe we can do something else in another time. Maybe. If I get an urge, maybe I'll film it. I don't declutter much. Uh, if I do, it's like one or two things a month. But I have them these sitting here for to stare at me at like two months so this is this is time i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a like subscribe down below for more videos i again i do empties and declutters everything every single month i do project planning to use up my stuff and not just declutter them i just had the urge this month and if you wonder about this i just shop my stuff for peach and that will be up already Go check that out if you haven't already and I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video, please take care. Like, like, please take care. <laughs> Crazy times. Bye bye.